Welcome, welcome. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Gökmen. Uh, I'm managing client uh, services, uh, client solutions in Turkey. Um, today we're in, here in uh, Facebook London office. I have very special guests here today, Tolga from Akbank and Michael from Adjust. Uh, Akbank is uh, one of the biggest banks in Turkey and Adjust is our mobile management partner. Uh, so, in the past, we've had some tremendous success with Akbank and with Adjust uh, together. Uh, and we're, we're going to talk about these successes. Uh, we're going to talk about best practices and also some workarounds. So, Tolga, let's start with you. Maybe you introduce yourself in a couple of words. Uh, also, uh, Akbank, um, what does Akbank do? Uh, first of all, thank you for the invite. This is Tolga speaking. Uh, I'm performance marketing manager at Akbank and full-time blogger in my free time, to be honest. And I'm responsible for operating performance marketing campaigns and generating revenue throughout these channels. Currently leading Google AdWords and social media at accounts of Akbank. But I would say that uh, being a performance marketer in a bank requires you to go beyond what's stated in your responsibilities sometimes. Sometimes I'm working on landing page optimization, sometimes I'm working on creatives, and etc. So, a um, couple of words about Akbank, some people may not know. Yeah, Akbank is one of the biggest banks in Turkey. Uh, we have like a 406 million active users in our mobile app for 90 days. And we are pretty much digitalized bank in Turkey. And we have a really big customer base and we are going forward. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, Michael, would you like to introduce yourself as well? Absolutely, well thank you for having me. Uh, I never miss a chance to come to London in November because it's just a tropical paradise. Um, as you said, I'm from Adjust. I'm a product research manager there. So my responsibility is to fly around the world, meet all of our bigger, biggest clients around the world, and understand what are they being limited by when it comes to mobile advertising. As I'm sure everyone knows, mobile advertising is a very new and very young industry. And it has some, should we say, unique uh, approaches to it that can definitely be improved on. And that's what I do. For Adjust itself, it's an attribution provider. So as you said, we're a Facebook mobile marketing partner, and that gives us access to all of your Facebook campaigns for mobile. And we get all that data, we get all the data from all of your other campaigns on other networks as well. And then we uh, display it, lots of different KPIs. And what we also do, and I think what we're gonna talk about today, is we pass that data on either to, to, uh, to your own backend or in the case of ActBank into our audience builder, which allows you to build really like super well-targeted, mm. super concise uh, segments like user groups uh, so that you can really drive like really solid re-engagement campaigns, re-attribution campaigns uh, and so on. But I don't want to spoil everything, so Amazing. I'll stop there. Amazing, cool. Uh, Tolga, back to you. So as a performance marketing manager, what are your goals and objectives and uh, how do you achieve them? Uh, we basically focus on generating traffic into our landing pages or mobile app, then work on converting this traffic into sales profitably. We always look forward to drive more sales and generate a high return on ad spend. And this year, our second goal was to acquire new, highly qualified banking customers from digital and onboard them successfully with the right product and services. And our last objective this year was to digitalize the ones who still visit ATMs or branches to make their financial transaction, you know, who we are all talking about. And we are trying to convert them, you know, and digitalize them and showing the benefits of using Akbank directly. Brilliant. And I would say that we are part of making a digital transformation in the bank by boosting digital sales, increasing mobile app usages, and bringing in the latest app and mobile technologies in the bank. Brilliant. Um, Tolga, I think as a client, as a company, you've been very, very successful in leveraging it just uh, as, as a managing partner and as a tool. Uh, so let's talk about your successes a bit. Like, what did you actually achieve? As yeah, I want to start from the beginning. Like, uh, Facebook advertising before March 2017 didn't really work for us because we didn't have SDK in our app, no mobile measurement tool, no pixel in our websites. But our target was clear. We wanted to grant more personal loans for a more mobile app. So the first thing first we did was actually connect Adjust with Facebook because we already had Adjust and Facebook was a new opportunity for us. Then we select available app events that are related with personal loans in Adjust and combine it with what we have for standard app events in Facebook. Then uh, we just immediately started to see how our campaigns are running, optimize our campaigns based on personal loan goals and actually create valuable audiences. And getting our case study there that we had with both of you guys, I think we expected three things to happen. The first one was to uh, digitalize, uh, increase the digital share of personal loans granted by the bank to physical branches. 
what we had in the end actually that for the first time in the history we outperformed the physical branches by fifteen wow. percent with this case and with Facebook and adjust etc. And our second goal was make Facebook one of the most profitable channels. What we get in the end that seventy percent more profitable comparing to other channels. And our last goal actually was to of course grant more personal loans and. The most we, we were really surprised with the, this result because what we got in that that 15% of all personal loans granted by the bank during that time was originated with Facebook ads, including physical branches. That was a huge result for us. That's a big number. Yeah, and we actually received four awards from various organization and made the short list of Glomo, you know, uh, as known as Oscars of the mobile. Congrats again. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats again. Um, I want to talk a bit about how you actually measure success and uh, was it easy? Like, uh, what were the challenges there and how did you uh, solve this? I mean, for us, like, success means having impactful results not only in the bank but also in the market share. To measure success across all our different platforms for mobile, we consolidate our data in Adjust. There, we set the same rules and attribution window for each partner that we are working for. This led them to comp compete with each other under the same terms, actually. And on the other hand, each campaign that we have created in Performance Marketing Channel has only one goal and one goal only, whether it's selling credit cards or granting personal loans. There, to measure their success, we actually receive data from the platforms that we're advertising on, then get uh, to see what's happening in Adjust and combine them together and see how, who is the you know, biggest apple in the basket. It's really, um, and sorry to jump in, it's yes. really nice to hear um, setting goals that aren't just either big install numbers or big revenue numbers. Like one of the things that like I talk about all the time is the concept of value of a user doesn't always mean how much they spend yep. versus how much you pay to acquire them, right? Yeah. So everyone listening, just do what this guy does, like yeah. 100%. <laughs> okay, brilliant. So was it always easy? Because, you know, you have um, other partners um, reporting numbers, uh, you have Facebook reporting numbers, you have then adjust um, reporting numbers. So, was there sometimes a discrepancy? And um... it wasn't that easy at the beginning, but we had the performance marketing mentality. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, we had really two powerful platforms that we were working with: <clears throat> uh, Facebook ability to target real people, not just device IDs or cookies. We understand understood since the beginning that each metric might be important for our business because we didn't have that ability in other platforms. That's a really big uh, gain for the Facebook and us. And for example, we are really into seeing uh, unique metrics for the standard app events for the mobile logins, because it gives us like the uh, our perspective how we are doing in there. It just on the other hand, like helps you to look things from the bigger picture, I would say. Yeah. It's connected with all of our channels and you can see relatively how your campaigns are performing there, including all different channels. And it's normal to see some little data discrepancies because both of the channels might use like different tracking methodologies. Like one of them uses last session, one of them uses like last click. It depends on that. But the easiest way to get the good results, I would say, I'm going to suggest the same thing. Just like get your data, receive cost data from the platform that you're advertising on and combine it with what you see in the adjust dashboard. I think that's the easiest way to get the clear results. And if you still want to check things in the Facebook dashboard, let's say your attribution window is seven days, just wait seven days to see Brilliant. the full scope. And from our case, actually, we have prepared our attribution window as limited as possible by following one day uh, inactivity period, seven day inactivity period, one day attribution window, and one day retribution window. Our aim in the end is just give credit where the credit is due. Very good. Um, Michael, back to you. So you gave an overview about Adjust. Yeah. Um, I'd like to hear more about the benefits of using Adjust. Sure. So why should I use Adjust and what are the benefits? Yeah, so as was mentioned, um, not using attribution provider when you do mobile is it's just you're shooting yourself in the foot before you start the race because you're going to have to go to every single one of your partners and you have no way to compare them really. They may also be, you may drive one user to your app from two, you know, they may have seen an ad on network A and then click on an ad on network B. These, both of these networks will very happily tell you that it was their user, right? So at the very core basis of, of what Adjust is, it's an objective look at mobile advertising, right? 
But then we can go way, way, way further than this. And um, we talked about how, you know, look, just looking at big numbers isn't really, you know, you could get away with it in 2015. You can't really get away with it now. So we take all of the, you know, clicks and impressions and events as well from each user and we base it based on acquisition source. So you can, yes, you can say, well, okay, this, cam this creative design on Facebook gives me a lot of users. But even though I got less users in, in this, you know, demographic, in this geo, in this gender, in this age range, these users have a way higher value. Maybe they convert more times. They do more events that we care about. So at the core, it's really just sort of understanding what's going on. But really good uses of, of Adjust is about setting your own custom goals as a company and having a way to objectively check if you're actually reaching those goals, mm -hmm. right? I think mobile, as I said, it's this brand new industry and it's, you know, there are these huge numbers and these stories come out about how big the industry is. It is extremely easy to get lost, I think. Yes. Yeah. And having a, a tool that, that is designed to talk to every single player and every single inventory, every single network, and then, as you said, setting like objective rules across the whole lot, it lets valuable inventory like, like Facebook kind of naturally bubble to the top Rather than sort of, sorry, this is going to sound mean, but rather than believing what the Facebook sales guy say, oh, you can really <laughs> actually look at the numbers and say, oh, I found my yeah. correct demographic. I yeah. found the time of day when I should run ads. Yeah. Like, you know, the days of, of doing advertising from your gut are gone. Exactly. Do it with big data. And that's what we do. Yeah. Exactly. And we're most happily if you use your um, budget most effectively. So Absolutely. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. So Tolga, from your point of view, or from Akbank's point of view, what are the benefits there? Uh, there are many benefits, but the first thing came up to my mind, like I'm going to take it from the start and the beginning, and it's, dashboard is really easy to use, first of all. Like anybody can use it. And, and it's the same thing for the audience builder. And the second thing is that actually, like it's connected with all the channels that you have in the market. Like it's connected with your SMS, you can even connect with your ATM. Anywhere that you put your link, it's connected. And the third thing is came up to my mind first that audience builder itself, because this is the one thing that we positioned just as a, like our DMP right now, because there is a, like a huge amount of data there with audience builder and helps you to segment your users based on the specific events that taken, and for your business objective, of course. Okay, thank you. So. Um... With Facebook, as you know, you can do data file custom audiences, which means you can use your CRM. Uh, you can leverage your CRM uh, for your advertising, basically. You can do cross-sell, upsell, mm -hmm. lo lots of possibilities. Now, for some markets, for some verticals, sectors, uh, unfortunately, um, you can't use this anymore. So one of these sectors is uh, financial services in sector, uh, financial services in Turkey, sorry. Uh, and Akbank was, was one of the earliest companies to find a workaround for that. And I think it's a brilliant use case. Uh, you actually used um, the Adjust Audience Builder uh, to get this data in real time. Um, would you, Michael, would you like to um, talk a bit about the Audience Builder? What is it? How does it work? Sure, sure. So I'll just run you through kind of how it works, and then uh, maybe Tolga can go through how sure. you guys avoided getting in trouble. So obviously, we're bringing in all this data. So we have all of the users in your app. We also have all the, the data from Facebook and from other partners as well. So we know how you got them, You know what they did before they converted. So we take all of this data, and in real time, we allow you to segment it. And it's, it's real simple to do. You hop over to Audience Builder. All of the data is there in real time. And you basically just you create this audience and you start setting rules, right? So you might say, I only want people in this, in this segment who've spent between 10 and 20 euros and um, were, 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 have, have had th more than three sessions in the app, right? And you can do this with, with pretty much anything. But the cool thing about Audience Builder is if I'm one of your users and I've spent 19 euros, and you pull that, that list at 9 a.m., and then one minute later I spend another 20 euros, I will immediately leave that segment. So if you pull the segment again a minute later, it will be like real time up to date. And then you can export this as a CSV and you can send your intern to run over to the network and hand it over. You can actually give the network this custom URL to their segment and then they can do it for you. And obviously with Facebook, you guys have phenomenal targeting abilities. With some networks, they actually don't have the ability to segment. So we, we kind of do it for them, really. And uh, they get to sort of say, oh, yeah, we totally have segmentation. They just never say how. Um, 
The other sort of feature that I think is, is very hot is A-B testing. Mm -hmm. We can split your segments up into, I think it's up to 10 segments, and you can weight them differently. So you'd have 50% and 225%, for example, and you would get as, as matched as possible, as similar as possible uh, breakdowns of your, of your audience. And you can, how you use those is up to you because the, your network partner can only see the URL. So it might be that you split it into 10 groups and you give each one of those groups a different creative on Facebook or you target a different ge geo or a different demographic. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you could even say, okay, well, I'm going to split it in half and this will be the, the female, uh, you know, the, the one demographic of women 25 to 49 and this is mm -hmm. women over 50 or something like this. And you can A-B test in any way you want. Uh, and you don't even have to sort of ask because uh, we'll do it for you. So it's it's really just like a uh, an and you know a, a real time way to take all of the data that we have have accumulated both from network partners and from the app itself, and then use it for segmentation, use it to break down. And we just really don't want, as I said, uh, poor interns hacking away Excel lists like. That's over now. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, because instead of like using the last session part, because you yeah, know, yeah, we need to. Uh, target our customers who haven't logged into our app for 90 days. Right, you are just right. targeting them with the, you know. So you would, I guess, you would take the segment, uh, you know, logged in in the last 24 hours and then yeah. exclude them from from yeah, targeting. Right, definitely. amazing. Tol so Tolga, would you go into more detail <coughs> how Akbank actually uses the audience builder? Yeah, actually, we are one of the be first audience builder users yes. in the world, I believe. It's true. It's true. Uh, yeah. Not one of the only, but one of the first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. We were we felt really lucky with that, by the way. And because it was really important for our business because we are doing performance marketing. Performance marketing means data and targeting abilities that you have actually. And we recognize our business imperative behind connecting with diverse financial backgrounds that in the market, like people who have high credit scores, people who are in different conditions. That's why we need to have a really good at targeting, you know? And thanks to a just audience builder, we engage with our customers better than before and deliver them personalized experiences because you can target the places that they stuck. So you can like give them a personalized experience in Facebook dashboard with your ads. And the good part was that, like I can give you an example. Uh, most of the time, rule of thumb says that 20% of all personal loan applications are only get approved by the banks. But it's not no longer true with Audience Builder and Facebook because we can only target the ones who are eligible to get the personal loans at the right time with the right message, and you are ready to go. And the other thing that I like the most between Adjust and Facebook is the Facebook partner module, I will say. Oh, yeah. You can just click on the little button there, it directly goes to your audience list in Facebook. And you don't, it's going there anonymously, so you don't need to worry about the regulations in that point. Yeah, that's actually unique for Facebook. You guys yeah. are the only network right now that, that um, will take these segments automatically in real time as well. So um, there's no wait around. Like you can yeah. pull the data and start the campaign 15 seconds later. So you don't need it's to really download cool. and upload any yeah. different dashboard. Yeah. So you don't know anything about your customers, just device IDs going directly. So okay. you don't have a problem with regulations. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Michael and Tolga. This concludes our uh, session. Um, thanks for watching. I hope uh, this was insightful. Uh, I hope it was uh, helpful. Uh, we'll post all the links uh, below uh, on, on the post. And thanks for now. Uh, bye for now.